Thousands of university staff walked off the job today, calling for an 8% pay increase to keep up with the cost of living. It's the first coordinated strike across all universities in years. But as Alexa Cook reports, one university says that's a tough ask as profits have dropped in recent years. A sea of staff making their voices heard. With a message for Massey's Vice-Chancellor. During this global cost of living crisis, Jen, it's payback time. Too many of us are struggling. Seven and a half thousand workers from all eight universities walked off the job. We won't take it anymore. Picketing on roadsides and taking to the streets. There are 18 different pay negotiations underway around the country and the highest offer to date has been 5%, which isn't enough for these workers. We've been lagging behind in pay for a long time. The university really has made plenty of profit in the last years, despite COVID. That's because of our staff who've worked hard to keep that going. All but one university declined an interview, that vice-chancellor refuting those profits. The universities have suffered over the past uh, two or three years a substantial drop in income and it's very unfortunate that that's occurred at a point when inflation has been high. Inflation driving these staff members to the streets even if it disrupted classes. It's going to have a significant disruption. Lectures are cancelled, tutorials are cancelled, most of the library staff are going out. We're not keen about that. We don't do that lightly. We'd rather be in the classroom. I feel undervalued and utterly disrespected by those at the top of this university. The universities all said in statements they will continue to negotiate with unions and hope they can reach an agreement. What do we want? But thousands of workers agree on one thing. They need more money. Alexa Cook, News Hub.